Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon. Welcome to another episode of Arrow. This is season 5, episode number 6. And, uh, well, you know, we've seen one of the, the what I thought was going to be the big bads killed off in the last episode in Tobias Church. He, um, he crossed Prometheus one too many times and Prometheus put an arrow through him. Um, that's going to be the big mystery of this season, very much like in season four, although it wasn't so much a mystery for me because I knew beforehand. The mystery in season four was who's going to die. And the mystery in this season is who is Prometheus. And um, it's very much a kind of thing that was started in Flash. Um, you know, the Flash had, for the first three seasons, um, villains that were masked and you didn't know who they were. And there was the big reveals either like halfway through the season or at the very end of the season. And, you know, the whole time you kind of led um, sort of guessing and giving little clues here and there, but never quite sure. And, you know, for the most part, it worked out really well for the Flash, for, for the villains anyway. Um, with this, I mean, I'm not even I'm not even able to begin to think about who it could possibly be. Um, you know, and that's just simply because everyone who I can think of that's close to Oliver, um, is either dead, already been a villain, or is, you know, there isn't a, a reasonable motive for them to be this Prometheus character. Um, it could well be someone from the past that we've forgotten about or haven't seen in ages, but I don't know, um... Either way, they've got big beef with the Green Arrow for some reason. Um, you know, maybe they're someone who's been slighted in Oliver's past. Maybe when they were doing the flashbacks. I don't know. Um, we'll, we'll have to see. I'm really kind of stuck with it. But um, it's been a quite strong opening to this season. We've seen, you know, obviously a lot of new characters introduced. We have the new um, kind of Team Arrow that's been set up. Um, we've managed to get Dig back into the team after rescuing him from the military prison um he's got a cool new outfit you know oliver's got a better outfit than season four so things are looking up you know and um i am hoping that you know we get a really really good storyline going into the rest of this season we've kind of gotten through the establishing part of the season where we introduce the setting any new characters that are going to be kind of like a permanent fixture introduce the villain um we're probably going to get some like villain of the day kind of episodes now but we'll start getting more and more into the meat of the main story for the season. So, uh, yeah, we're going to jump in. Before we do, I want to say a big thank you to all of my Patreon super supporters. Frank Tremel, Karen Abel, Nick Walters, Damon Smallwood, Michael Y, Mr. Greg 89 Ollie Brown, Nightwolf37, Pobin Hass, and our newest super supporter, Nightwing0102. So, without further ado, let's jump in. Let's see what happens. Prometheus is trying to bait me. Yeah, that's the general point I was trying to convey. And also that this is probably Hey, dig yeah, Let me call in the rest of the team. No. It's a classic two man up. This is probably a trap. Oh, how dramatic. <laughs> We've got this Doesn't the light inside of Dig's helmet get in his eyes? It looks cool, but can't imagine it's very practical. Uh oh, or if it's a bomb. Who is this? It's a lot of trouble to go to for a prank. Huh. Wow. So it begins. They are very dramatic. Bratva spent off hours learning many trades. Mm. They were mechanics in the uh, Star City. Battery terminal. Careful, do not touch circuit boards. Oh, jeez. That was an actual live explosive. <laughs> it's okay, Oliver. First time I try, I nearly lose finger. Oh! Oh, jeez. Why are we getting a... Oh, jeez. Please, please, take whatever you want. Just... 
Oh, shit. Okay. We've moved into murder now, like, of innocent people. He really stands in a uh, villainish way, doesn't he? Who earns money to expand? Investors, like, say, rich American? Oh, they're going to use... You can get a meeting with his people, and you do. Ah. Uh -huh. And you're going to blow his new casino up. And you thought making a bomb was wasted. <laughs> but you say... I like it. Ready to play rich American playboy again. I like it. They deserve to know that this is escalated. Stop calling Susan Williams my girlfriend. <laughs> oh, jeez. Where did the guns come from? Like, our people are just randomly falling over. It's just, just like fuck off. How much ammunition does he have? Jesus Christ. This is why people can't be trusted with guns. Never good when we get a lingering shot in a dark room. Oh, uh, is this Quinton's office? She's running through his drawers. Is she going to find those tablets he was taking? Okay, now just because you found a bottle. Doesn't mean that he's been drinking. You do? Because I don't. Do you guys? He's saying you're the serial killer. Harsh. <laughs> Feeling pretty accurate. I was trying to help. I mean, all those people is, is weren't it? good people. You they were all really bad people. To not get revenge on Ruve Dark for my parents because killing would tarnish the Black Canary's legacy. How are you anything other than a hypocrite? First, it would have tarnished her legacy. Second, you knew that I was a killer when you came on board. Not a serial killer. It's I not a serial killer. Names. You got bankers in here, lawyers, a city councilman. Serial killers have no logic ran the names on the list to their patterns of killing. They're just murderers. Oliver was taking out people who were either corrupt or evil. I know he's not much to look at now, but... What? You play... What's American term? Douche? Very well. <laughs> <laughs> he had a lot of experience playing the douche. What? Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Gwen? Oh, no. Empty bottles. You home? I was hoping that the the bottle of alcohol in the office was just a Quentin? false flag. I thought we could use some considering yeah. the circumstances. Do you care for some? Um, or if she's seventeen. So my dad yeah. was giving me this stuff when I was. Old. She can be out on the street Fine, taking people so. down, but can't be drinking alcohol. <laughs> I feel stuck. I think you're being hard on yourself, which is a bit annoying because there's usually mine at the listener's job. <laughs> but Oliver, in that official capacity, I think you are moving forward. I think you. Yeah, he forward. doesn't. I he doesn't kill when he doesn't need to. What makes you so sure? Because that guy with the list wouldn't have even thought to ask the question. Yeah. Oh my God. Where did he come from? Uh oh. Okay. Don't leave the cab. You're supposed to be driving the train. Stay 
Why did you stop? <laughs> he went to hit and he stopped. I don't know if that was just like a bad cut. Like a bad edit. <laughs> How did he get in there? There was no there's no way to get in without making noise. Oh. Yeah, firing an explosive arrow on a train doesn't seem smart. Hey, we got a problem. We got a big problem. What? The train can't stop. <sighs> Don't have time to disarm that. We're getting off the train. Come on. You're joking, right? Because now's a really bad time to It's lucky there's no one else on the train. But only, only after they called everybody in the village. Every man, woman, and child. Oh, is this Tanif Thor's hammer or something? Vagabond. Every animal, even. Oh. Yes, that and. Uh... <laughs> so we'll become a damn farmer. Yep, I can see that coming. For a good cause. Seriously? You feel like mad or hurt or feeling a lack of trust? I'd be a jerk if I did. I mean, Felicity, you're helping save the city. Yeah. <laughs> I just got so many questions. What are you trying to tell me? This is going to sound crazy, but so is Prometheus. I think that Prometheus has gotten his hands on the various arrows that you've used over the past four years, melted them down, and fashioned weapons out of them. Oh, jeez. That is a hell of a thing. Hey, but if that's true, that that would mean that would mean that Prometheus has access to SCPD lockup. Uh oh. Oliver, oh. we have a real lead on who Prometheus is. Wait, wait, no. He's a member of the SCPD. It's Quinton. How? Okay, I know people do stupid things when they're drunk, but becoming a serial killer villain, whether well, you don't even remember? I, I'm not sure that's something I've ever seen before. Um, I'm, I mean, it makes sense in terms of how he would have access to the evidence and the arrows, and, you know, obviously, there's enough emotional trauma for Quentin that, you know, you could say that he would have a psychological breakdown and that could possibly result in him doing things that would be very out of character. You know, he's lost a daughter, the other daughter is away, you know, and he's kind of on his own in a drunken stupor. I just... I've never... <laughs> hmm. That's something I've never experienced before. I mean, I'm assuming he doesn't remember because he certainly was acting like it. But, yeah, I mean, how is he doing half this stuff? Like, bombs and firing arrows and, uh, I mean, unless he's working with the actual Prometheus, you know, I'm, I'm so confused. It's one of two things. Either he is the Prometheus, which there are a lot of questions running through my head about how. Because he's doing stuff drunk that most people couldn't do sober. Um, you know, and then the second one is that he's working with Prometheus to get him the the stuff from the from the lockup. I'm so confused. Well, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I was questioning, you know, like, on the subway, I was like, how did he get in there? Like, there was no entry points, he made no noise, and it was a sudden boom right in there. And then, how did he plant the bomb, you know, on the, the panel, when he never once moved past the driver? I don't know. Um, Doesn't make much sense, but then again, these, these shows never do tend to follow strict rules of physics or whatnot so who knows um 
a lot of it going around and being sort of rolled around Oliver and Trust again. It seems to be a very common thing throughout these early episodes in these seasons. You know, Oliver does something or something's revealed from his past and it makes people not trust him. Um, you know, and it's it's just a bit... Yeah. It's a bit, you know, I, I think the, the, the group are being a little bit harsh on Oliver, calling him a serial killer. I mean, yes, he killed people who probably could have been left alive. Um, but they weren't good people, you know. And, you know, it's like they said, he has improved now, you know. He's redeemed. He doesn't kill just for the sake of killing anymore. And when he does kill, it is as a last resort, and it's people who are truly evil and deserve it. So, you know, he's come a long way. Oh, well. We'll see how things pick up with the next one. So, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll, uh, yeah, I'll see you for the next one.